Here's your tempera painting fish demo. Start with your background first. Remember that water tends to go side to side, but you may need to make some curved lines to go around the edges. So after you do that, then you can just come back over and pull it sideways. Remember that water doesn't have to just be blue, especially if you have a fish that's a bottom feeder, such as a catfish, you're probably gonna want the water to be murkier. You can do that by mixing in a bit of brown or some black and some white to make it more gray. But bluegill like to be up close, so I'm making it just kind of a light blue for now, trying to make it darker towards the bottom, lighter at the top. I could go back and add some plants later, but for the basic demo, I think this is enough. Then start putting in kind of the background colors of your fish. Don't worry about scales yet. Save that for after you've built up your base coat. Now, you're not going to be able to find one magic color for everything, especially for fish. You're going to have to mix. So look at the types of colors that you see and just mix and layer until you have it right. The good thing about temper paint is if you don't like how something looks, you can always let it dry and then paint back over it. I'm trying to stay inside the lines. I'm trying to make sure I don't cover up details. I need like fins on my fish. Um, looking for any patterns. Bluegills usually look like they have stripes. Um, I'm making sure you can see the details around the face and then I'm starting to add some more um, light and dark areas to the fins, trying to get the colors right. And then eventually adding in scales and other markings like the dark spot by this bluegills gill. Make sure you can see the gills, make sure you get all those details. You're going to use a foam tray to store your paint on it. At the end of class, get another tray the same size to put upside down on top of it and then put that in a plastic bag to keep it dry for the next day. Use the brushes that are on the counter and make sure you wash those and put them back in the correct spot when you are done. Please do not leave them in the sink. You gotta be responsible if you wanna keep having the option to paint. 